Hello, thanks for being in a new video. This time I have full review of this ring. It's called the Ultra Human Ring Air, so let's get started. This is the first smart ring I'm reviewing, so I'm actually pretty excited about what I can tell you about it. They practically beat Samsung to the punch, although it's not the first smart ring on the market, as there are a few other proposals. But what is striking about this one is that it doesn't require a subscription because other proposals require a subscription, and being paying monthly could be inconvenient for many people. However, it is not such an economical smart ring, but it is up to you as a user if you prefer a single payment and that's it, or you prefer to be paying month to month. In this case, its price is $349. You can buy it in their official online store. They ship to Mexico and many other countries. And in the online store, you can completely customize how you are going to make your purchase. In fact, the purchase process looks very similar to what Apple offers in terms of color selection and you can even engrave something special on the ring. So I think the proposal is interesting, but now join me to learn more details about it. Let's start by talking about the design, although there are not too many things to mention, but obviously of the most important things will be the weight, the material and some other little details. So let's start with the weight, which can range from 2.4 grams to 3.6 grams in the largest size. It's definitely ultra light, in fact that may be one of the highlights and one of the aspects that people who are looking for some physical monitoring but find a smartwatch too heavy or in the way or don't like it, might like the most. So for those types of people is this device that can give you sufficiently advanced monitoring, which I'll tell you about in a moment, without being a cumbersome or heavy device. It offers 8.1 millimeters in width, so it honestly looks a little wider than conventional rings, Although obviously in this regard there are also other rings that are much thicker. So in summary, all I want to tell you is that it is a ring that does not look like a strange accessory but it does look like a traditional ring. The thickness of the ring can also vary depending on the size. The smallest would be 2.45 millimeters and the thickest 2.8 millimeters. Although it is still a considerably thin ring and that is something remarkable taking into account that it has battery in here and many electronic components such as sensors. In this case I have the color called Aster Black but it is also available in raw titanium, matte gray, bionic gold and space silver. So it's up to you as a user which color is your favorite. I think in that aspect it is a good thing to have many options to choose from considering that it is an accessory that you are going to wear all the time on your hand. Surely you may also be wondering how to choose the right size and in this case it is a very simple purchase process. You simply choose the color option you want and the first thing the manufacturer will do is send you this kit to choose the right size. As you can see there are several sizes, the smallest is 05 and the largest is 14. In my case I chose size 08. The manufacturer recommends placing it on the index finger, although it is not mandatory. The material used in most of the ring is titanium, and that is one of the explanations why it is a lightweight device. It is in fact aircraft grade titanium and has a fairly complex coating. Honestly, I don't understand too much about chemistry, but the coating is tungsten carbide carbon. The manufacturer claims that this material is wear resistant and honestly, I have been using it for a little over a week and on occasion it has hit some other surfaces just like the other rings. So, for example, this ring I have has some wear marks and this one in the period I have been using it has not had any wear marks. So it looks like it does have a considerably advanced material to prevent it from getting damage. But on the inner part that comes in contact with your skin, we find another material. In this case, it is a hypoallergenic epoxy resin. This is made of medical grade because it will always be in contact with your skin and they want to avoid any kind of irritation. And honestly, I have not had one bit of discomfort when using this ring, so I can confirm that it is obviously very very comfortable. It is also water resistant to a depth of up to 100 meters. So you could even go diving with it and they promise it won't get damaged. Although they recommend that the ring should not be submerged for more than 12 hours because obviously this type of resistance can degrade. 
And notice how on the inside it has a sensor that is currently emitting a green light. In fact, it has several sensors. There are times when it emits green light, white light and red light. It's a sensor called PPG, which is going to give all the monitoring that we'll talk about later. But in addition to this optical sensor, it also has six axis motion sensor in order to perfectly record movements and other things. And it also has a temperature sensor. So in summary, it has three sensors that will do all the data collection that we'll talk about next. To talk about all the data it is capable of monitoring, let me show you its mobile application. In this case I got a low battery notification, but I'll talk about the battery later. The ring will constantly be giving you some indications depending on the circadian phase. That is, throughout the day there are times when it recommends you to expose yourself more to light. There are times when it says that you should expose yourself less to stimulants in order to have a better rest. So it gives you different recommendations throughout the day and it also shows you more or less the stages of movement and some other things based on this circadian phase. That is the time of day you are in. As you can see it also gives you a movement index that the closer it is to 100 is a better experience during the day. If you are a very sedentary person it will give you a lower rating and you should look to move more throughout the day. If you enter this movement index, you can make an analysis of the steps you have taken, also of the active minutes you have had, for example doing some exercise, also of the active hours. It is also able to give you an approximate of the total calories you have burned and finally the training frequency. It is able to automatically detect when your heart rate is a bit higher to show you some minutes when you were more active. Obviously, you can also make an analysis of how your movement rate has behaved on different days. In this case, observe how my chart has a better score today and there are other days where I have been a little more static. You can also do the monthly or weekly analysis. Notice that there are also other types of individual indicators such as heart rate that will also do an analysis throughout the day to show you in great detail that data. And again you can see a daily analysis or also a weekly analysis of more or less how your heart rate has behaved. And that could be a good indicator. In fact in each of these indicators the app explains in a lot of detail what it can tell you. It is also able to tell you how much your heart rate varies throughout the day. And this can also be another important piece of information. It can be when you are not sleeping or when you are sleeping and I insist that in each parameter it explains what this information will be useful for. And it also measures your resting heart rate. So we have a lot of indicators. What I would like is for it to be able to send you a notification when it detects that your heart rate is too low or too high but I don't see that available in the app. But possibly the most comprehensive analysis that this ring does is the sleep index. Again, it's going to give us a score that the closer it is to 100 will give us a better result. And in this case, it can analyze the time you've been sleeping, the efficiency of your sleep, also the average heart rate and how much your rhythm has been varying. See what it is able to score your sleep efficiency, also how was your temperature when you were sleeping, if you were quiet and some other parameters. So it's a very complete analysis, also the average oxygen saturation when you were sleeping. Although this is still in a beta phase, so it only works in the sleep analysis. But notice how it is able to give you a complete graph of the time you were awake, the time you had REM sleep, the time you had light sleep and finally the time of deep sleep. REM sleep analysis is important because it is supposed to be the time when your body can recover much more mentally. So in this way you can have all this kind of information to make decisions in case you want to change habits in your life. It also records the movements at the time of sleep as you can see and it shows us what was the lowest heart rate as well as how it was varying and also how our temperature was varying throughout our sleep. In this case you can scroll back to see the information of previous days and you can also give a specific analysis to your history. And if you are one of those people who want to be sure that you are resting well, note how it also has a recovery score. So based on your skin temperature, heart rate, variability and other things, it's going to tell you pretty much what you need to do to have a better recovery or a better rest.
In this case, I seem to have been moving little in the last few days, and so it tells me that you need to pay attention to that part. Then he has a very complete analysis of several parameters for you to decide what changes to make in your life. And lastly, he looks at the permissible window of stimulants where he tells us that consuming stimulants at this time would help me to improve mental clarity, elevate my mood, and increase productivity. So here he recommends, for example, some stimulant caffeinated beverages such as some teas and some other things. It also gives us estimates of how long that stimulation would last in our body so that you can more or less calculate when you should take some of this and when it is no longer recommended so that you can have a good rest. So not only will it give you a good monitoring of things, but it will also give you suggestions based on the time of day you are in. It also has two quick tools. One of them is going to suggest some breathing exercises so that you can more or less choose the most recommended one in case you want to increase your heart rate or reduce it. So it has several breathing modes that it can suggest to you and it also has a training mode although this is still in beta stage. But you could tell it, for example, that you want an indoor walk and see how a completely different interface appears from which it will also show your heart rate information and if you are already burning calories or not yet. In this case, it is evident that you need to see the cell phone to consult all this information and in the upper right corner gives you the information of the battery of the ring at this time. In fact, if you exercise outdoors, it would also be able to trace your route through some map, but you need to see the cell phone. There are also other higher intensity exercises like soccer for example, but again it will be exactly the same interface with the graph of your heart rate. So here is another opportunity for improvement, maybe with some exercises using the ring it could also be counting the number of repetitions you are doing or something similar, but that is not yet developed. It also has smart targets that it looks at how you are going to be activating throughout the day. For example, in this case, in my day, I have only completed the first goal, which is to get up early. But as the day goes by, I can complete other goals like number of steps, active hours, active minutes, also going to bed early, sleep duration, training minutes and others. So I think it's an easy way to see more or less how healthy your life is. And it also has a section called timeline where you can see more or less throughout the day the notifications that it will be sending you. Here I took a screenshot of a moment where I had several notifications. As you can see throughout the day it can encourage you to complete your number of steps or it can tell you that soon it will start the phase delay window where you should not expose yourself too much to light to be able to rest soon. It also lets you know when the stimulant window is over and you can have a cup of coffee or something like that. And it also lets us know if you slept less than other times and obviously when your battery is low. This ring is still in a phase of further improvement. So soon Ultra Human will be able to analyze respiration and will integrate better with Apple's health kit. In fact, it can also measure glucose with another experimental accessory, which is a kind of patch. But as I tell you individually, the ring is not able to give you that special monitoring. For women, it will also give cycle monitoring with an analysis also relating the body biomarkers to each phase of the cycle. So I want to show you more or less how it works. It's going to give you a little questionnaire of how long your period usually lasts. Let's put this number on it. Then it tells you how long your average menstrual cycle is. You can choose whether it's a variable cycle or it's a more regular cycle and then it asks you for the date of your last period. Then after that it tells you that you're ready for specialized tracking. In this case it's going to connect with Health Connect which is the platform that Android offers to collect all the information and as I told you soon it will have a better integration also with Apple's Health Kit. In fact connected with Health Connect you can also collect all the exercise information, heart rate and many more things on the same platform. Although the cycle analysis seems to be a bit more confusing as it is not on the main screen, in this case I already set the ring as if it was being worn by a woman to see if the setting showed up but it doesn't show up. In the metabolism section it gave me the suggestion to start that log, but in this section it is going to offer us the biosensor that I told you about that was able to give you a continuous real-time glucose analysis. 
So it's a more advanced analysis, but you have to request access because it's still in a testing stage. But in this case, you could also be more or less recording food and glucose so you can see how that impacts your health and also so you can analyze the performance you have in different sports. But I insist that the cycle analysis does not seem to be available in these sections since in the last section called Discover It simply gives you some tips and additional information about the exercises. Finally, it is in the profile section where it can give you a little more information about your cycle. As you can see in this case with the random information I placed, it says that you are currently on the 20 ton day of your face. Although it seems that in this case it does not yet have full translations to English. But here you could enable the start of some special menstrual phase if you want to indicate that menstruation has started and you can also have some parameters when you are pregnant. So if you are pregnant you can go to the profile section and enter this stage of pregnancy so that the markers will adapt since the heart rate and other things like temperature might vary while you are pregnant. So it can give you new information at this stage of life. And again, if you indicate that you are pregnant, you can select the approximate date that you are going to give birth and then you choose to start the journey and all the markers are going to adapt to give you much more accurate things at that stage. As you can see in this case, according to the random information that I put would be in the third trimester of pregnancy and gives you information about how your body should be behaving. And finally note that you can also connect with other applications that are also focused on fitness to share information. Let's talk now about the battery since that would be another parameter for people who want to keep a constant monitoring. Maybe they don't want to be charging every day some accessory like a smartwatch. So in this case they promise you 4 to 6 days of battery life and curiously in my test it gave more or less 5 days. So it is within what the manufacturer promises. Although personally I wouldn't recommend waiting until the ring is completely discharged to charge it. I let it discharge to 0% just for a test charge, but it would be best to put it on charge when it is at 20-30% to 30%, so it doesn't take as long. The manufacturer includes this very tiny charging base where you can place the ring and it also has an LED indicator that will let you know the charging status. On the back it has the USB-C port so you can connect it to the power. So in my charge test, in 15 minutes it got up to 18% battery, in 30 minutes it got up to 32%, after an hour of charging it got up to 47%, and in 2 hours it was almost fully charged this ring at 96%. So the full charge finished it in 130 minutes. So it doesn't give us a fast charge. So that's why I'm telling you it's more advisable to put it on charge when it gets to 30%. So you're probably going to have to charge it every 4 days or so. Which I think is pretty good considering we're talking about a very very compact device. So let me know what you thought of this smart ring. Personally, I find it an interesting accessory as I told you at the beginning for those who want to have a monitoring of their health but they are too much in the way of a smartwatch or consider that they are too heavy or something similar. So the ring doesn't get in the way as much and can give you very similar monitoring. Let me know what you think in the comments. For now, this has been all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, you know, you can let me know and we'll see you next time.